بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم شاترین سواتی از ہیئر فرام بایو سائنسز وتھ شاترین سواتی اینڈ ٹوڈے آئی ایم ہیئر وتھ مائی فورتھ لیکچر فرام مائی کرونا وائرس سیریز ایز آئی ہیو ڈسکس ان ڈیٹیل اباؤٹ دا اسٹرکچر اباؤٹ دا جینوم اباؤٹ دا اسپائک پروٹینس ان مائی پریویس لیکچر فرام دا کرونا وائرس سیریز اینڈ ٹوڈے آئی ول ڈسکس آئی ول ڈلیور دا لیکچر اباؤٹ دا لائف سائیکل آف دا سارس کرونا وائرس اینڈ دس از ویری انٹرسٹنگ Um, I created this lecture and all my previous lecture on the basis of the research articles and if you need these research articles kindly contact with me uh, email me and if you have questions kindly ask all the questions uh, write in the comment box I will try my best to uh, give you the answer and before discussing and before starting my lecture i have a very humble request to all of you if you did not subscribe my channel kindly subscribe my channel promote my channel uh, if you are promoting my channel you are promoting the education promoting the knowledge so keep watching and keep promoting knowledge it will uh, motivate motivate other uh, people to come and work on this platform and in this way inshallah the education uh, if you do a viral the educational content then it will be inshallah spread and uh, most of the people around the world get benefits uh, from uh, these lectures from free, these free lectures inshallah so now i'm going to start my lecture and in this lecture i will little bit discuss about the structure then the s proteins and genome and transmission and life cycle i have discussed in detail about the structure and spike protein and genome so must watch all these three uh, lectures about the structure and genome and spike protein because if you uh, watch these lectures then this lecture will be easily understandable for you people okay now uh, first of all the structure you can see here the structure of the coronavirus uh, the coronavirus structure consists of the uh, spikes on the surface envelopes proteins and the genome which is a single uh, standard rna which act like the messenger rna and this is encapsulated by the um, nucleocapsid and the lipid membrane you can see and this is the overall structure because of the presence of these spikes coronavirus uh, possess the crown like structure that's why this is known as coronavirus must watch my lecture about the structure of the coronavirus now i will go over through the s proteins and little bit not more because i have discussed in detail so then the genome little bit uh, to the genome s proteins what are basically s protein the spikes are the most distinguishable feature of the coronaviruses and are responsible for the corona uh, uh, are halo like surface on average a coronavirus particle has 74 surface spike proteins you can see these are the as protein spike proteins uh, and they are about 74 each spike is about 20 meter nanometer long and is composed of a trimer of the s protein and s protein is a class 1 fusion protein because fusion protein because they help in the fusion of the coronavirus or attachment of the coronavirus to the host cell which mediate the receptor binding and membrane fusion between the virus and the host cell is it clear Spike protein basically consists of the two subunit S1 and S2. I have discussed in detail. Must watch uh, my lecture about the spike protein. And this is the expanded portion which is the S1 which help in the attachment of the uh, coronavirus with the host cell uh, to the special receptor site. And this uh, portion consists of the rbd domain receptor binding domain and this is s2 which is the stark like structure which anchored the envelope of the coronavirus now role in infection it play a very important role in infection as i have discussed that uh, this uh, s protein help in the 
fusion and attachment of the coronavirus to the host cell. The uh, S1 particles are proteins are the most critical component in terms of the infection. They are also the most variable components as they are responsible for host cell specificity. They possess two major domains named N-terminal domain and the C-terminal domain, both of which serve as the receptor binding domain. I have discussed in detail, um, again and again repeating this sentence because uh, must watch my lecture about the spike proteins. Now the genome, I will little will uh, go over uh, from the genome. SARS-CoV-1 is genome, entire genome of COVID-19 is more or less 80% uh, uh, similar to the previous uh, human SARS coronavirus and contain a single stranded RNA as a nucleic uh, material and size ranging from 26 to 32 kilo bases in length. And I have, uh, uh, I want to mention here, I use the word, I have used the word uh, base pairs, no. Base pairs used for the DNA, not for the RNA. I mistakenly used that pairs word in case of the RNA. Uh, so I apologize for that because uh, I, I'm uh, used to the word base pair, base pair. Uh, in, uh, in, th in those days, I delivered almost um, 13 lectures about the uh, DNA and genome. So that's why uh, I mistakenly used the word uh, pairs. So here... 26 to 32 kilo bases RNA, which is single stranded RNA, and uh, it acts like a messenger RNA. And it has six open reading frame, and the genome size is one of the largest among RNA viruses. In addition to the SARS coronavirus, the genome of the six species uh, of coronavirus has been fully sequenced and reported in the gene bank. Okay, and this is the structure of the messenger RNA, which is the single positive messenger RNA. I'm using that word messenger RNA because this single standard positive single standard RNA act like the messenger RNA. So that's why I'm using that word. So five to three, and you can see here the six open reading frame. Open reading frame one A, one B. I have discussed in here, so must watch my lecture about the genome. And this is the S open reading frame and E open reading frame, M and N. And uh, or if one A and one B produces the, uh, are translated into the non-structured proteins and uh, one, two, three, four uh, are the structured protein. This is the uh, spike protein producing open reading frame. This is the envelope protein producing open reading frame. This is the membrane um, protein producing uh, uh, open reading frame. This is the nucleic acid uh, producing open reading frame. You can see here, this is the spike and all. Okay, now I am uh, going towards the mechanism for the entry to the host cell. What is actually the mechanism? Uh, animal model play a very uh, important, uh, wider role in to uncover the mechanism of viral pathogenicity from the entrance to the transmission and designing therapeutic strategies. This is very important. For the entrance to the transmission and also for the uh, designing therapeutic strategies. As the entire genome of the COVID-19 coronavirus is more or less 80% uh, similar to that of the human SARS like bad coronavirus mm. uh, and uh, this coronavirus was also I have discussed that uh, this coronavirus uh, also emerged from the uh, China and uh, now second SARS coronavirus too also emerged from the China okay now uh, the mechanism for the entry to the host cell in a fluorescent uh, fluorescent study it was confirmed that the SARS coronavirus 2 also used the same ACE2 angiotensine converting enzyme angiotensin ACE2 is the receptor for the binding of the coronavirus uh, and a mechanism for the entry to the host cell which is previously used by the SARS coronavirus one 
one. I use the word one. The single nucleotide, this is very important. Single nucleotide uh, mutations in SARS coronavirus 2 spike proteins. Spike proteins, there's uh, some sort of mutations. Scientists believe that uh, the mutation occurred in the spike protein and this is the single nucleotide mutation. So may have significantly enhanced its uh, binding affinity for SEO2. So the binding affinity of the SARS coronavirus 2 is more than that of the SARS coronavirus 1 first coronavirus then that of the uh, so, so first coronavirus the binding affinity towards the SU2 is greater in case of the coronavirus 2 or COVID-19. Now I'm going to discuss the life cycle. As I have discussed the S proteins and genome now the concept is clear upon you people and then the mechanism of the entry and now the viral fusion first in the life cycle viral fusion but that is very important and viral fusion uh, you know that um, hell, uh, is carried out by the uh, spike protein so the viral fusion refer to the fusion of the viral membrane and the host cell membrane resulting in the release of the viral genome into the host cell now what will happen when the coronavirus come and attach with the cell membrane at the ACU2 which is the angiotensin uh, converting enzyme receptor and at that place there is another uh, protease which is the transmembrane serine protease and that transmembrane serine protease this this one help in the cleavage of the spike protein into S1 and S2 subunit. Is it clear? For the easy attachment and fusion of the virus with the host cell membrane. Now you can see here, the S protein is cleaved into two parts, as I have discussed with the help of the transmembrane uh, serine proteases, and the subunit exists in a non-covalent form until viral fusion occurs with the cellular receptors. Now, what will happen? When the genome, which is the single standard messenger RNA of the coronavirus, when enter into the host cell, you can see here, fusion and then uncoating. Uncoating, you can see. The genomic RNA, which is the positive sense RNA, which act like a messenger RNA, what will happen? When enter, when the messenger RNA, like uh, a single standard RNA, which act like the messenger RNA, enter into the cell cytoplasm, then it will move towards the host ribosomes. This is the whole, this is the host cell. You can see here. This is the uh, what uh, viral coronavirus RNA. Then what will happen? This coronavirus RNA move towards the ribosome. And what will happen? First of all, here translation occur and which two frames will translate first? Open reading frame 1A and open reading frame 1B. These open reading frame 1A and 1B are responsible for the production of the non or uh, the translation of the non-structure uh, protein. And non-structure proteins are the replicase enzymes. Uh, like um, RNA dependent RNA polymerase that RNA dependent RNA polymerase are replicates uh, you can say help in the replication of the positive strain RNA into the negative strain RNA here I want to mention and I have discussed in detail in my previous lecture that this single standard RNA, which is positive sense RNA, is responsible for the translation only. So, what will happen first? This single standard RNA uses the ribosomes 
of the host and produces the replicase enzyme and these replicase enzyme help in the replication of the negative sense rna from this positive sense rna and the function of the negative sense rna or neg single stranded ne negative sense rna is replication means transcription it do transcription like mechanism transcription are replication negative sense produces the many copies of the positive sense rna but the positive sense rna can only produce the protein by the translation now i will show you how is it clear now the step is clear first rna enter into the host cell which is positive sense rna then it will go move towards the ribosomes and then uh, when it attach with the ribosome it undergo the translation and produces the replicase uh, uh, replication of what orf1 a and orf1 b these two frames which produces the non structural proteins and these non structural protein help in the replication of the positive sense rna into negative sense rna now the uh, difference between the positive and negative sense rna is clear and the function of positive and negative uh, negative sense rna is clear now now i'm going towards the next slide now what will happen the resulting polyproteins what will happen when the translation of the orf1 operating frame 1a and 1b occur then it will produce the polyproteins what polyprotein Pro polyprotein are translationary and post translationary processed into individual non structural proteins as i have discussed non structural that form the viral replication and transcription complex is it clear replication of the uh, single stranded positive rna into negative rna and transcription of all the uh, structural proteins now translated structural proteins translocate into the endoplasmic retina i will show you how the translated structural protein structural proteins you know uh, s protein n proteins m proteins e proteins then these all move towards the endoplasmic reticulum and then translate through the endoplasmic retina to cholagen body and make the complex which is known as ergic mean endoplasmic reticulum to golgi intermediate compartment where interaction with the n encapsidated what will happen this n protein n n proteins which are nucleocapsid protein encapsidated newly produce genomic rna which is the positive uh, single stranded rna when produced it is encapsidated by the n proteins resulting in uh, budding into the limb and afna secretory uh, ventri uh, vesicular compartments the positive sense single stranded rna genome is encapsidated by the n where m and e membrane proteins and envelope proteins ensure the incorporation in the viral particle during the assembly process they help in the assembly process and produces the complete particle i will show you in that time finally the viruses are secreted from the infected cell by exocytes i will show you how now you can see here what will happen first this is the corona virus then this corona virus moved towards the cell membrane uh, towards the host cell which is the human cell and what will happen this corona virus come and attach at the acu2 site and beside that there is a transmembrane protein uh, serine protease which help in the splitting and fusion of the uh, spike proteins with the uh, receptor acu2 now what will happen this uh, make the endosome here and 
RNA, single stranded RNA, which is positive single stranded RNA of the coronavirus, entered into the host cell. Now, in the host cell, I have discussed that this single stranded positive sense RNA first moved towards the ribosomes of the host cell. And the open reading frame 1A and 1B undergo translation and produces the RNA dependent RNA polymerase. This RNA polymerase help in the what? Help in the replication of the messenger RNA like uh, positive uh, sense RNA, positive single stranded RNA into uh, negative single stranded RNA. Now this negative uh, single stranded RNA is responsible for the formation of or the replication of or you can say the transcription of messenger RNA like uh, positive sense RNA. So this negative sense RNA you can see here produces the large number of what? Single standard positive RNA which later on undergo the transcription, so translation. And translation because all positive uh, single stranded RNA act like messenger RNA and these produces different types of the protein. You can see here different types of the protein. I will show you. Yes, you can see here these single standard positive sense RNA undergo translation and produces the N protein, E protein, M protein and many more. Now all these protein move towards the transfer towards you can see here the endoplasmic reticulum and from the endoplasmic reticulum all these protein after translation from the positive sense RNA move toward the endoplasmic reticulum and from endoplasmic reticulum transit to the Golgi bodies and in the Golgi body what will happen the vesicle produce and these vesicles store are you can say that here you can see the complete particle as I have discussed that N protein N protein which are the nucleocapsid protein encapsulated the uh, single stranded RNA and E protein and M protein help in the assembly. So a complete coronavirus particle produced and then this complete particle move outside of the cell by the exocytosis and then infect the other cells. Is it clear? The concept is clear now about the single standard RNA which undergo the first trans uh, replication and after replication it produces and replication help with uh, occur with the help of the RNA polymerase RNA dependent RNA polymerase which is produced by the uh, translation of the operating frame 1A and 1B then what will happen this single standard RNA which is positive sense uh, with the help of this uh, in the replicase enzyme produces the negative sense RNA negative single standard RNA and then this negative uh, standard uh, single standard RNA produces many copies of the uh, single standard positive RNA which is which act like the messenger RNA and then this positive the function of both is clear now this help in the replication and this help in the translation and by the translation this positive sense RNA produces different types of the uh, structure proteins of the coronavirus and all these structure proteins then move towards the endoplasmic reticulum and then to the Golgi body and packaging of the uh, all these particles are these proteins and complete formation of the coronavirus occur here and then it moved outside of the cell by the mechanism of exocytosis. I hope so. The complete cycle, uh, life cycle of the coronavirus will be clear upon you people. Okay. If you have question, kindly uh, write in the comment box. Okay. So here you can see 
how the simple way the coronavirus then se2 then releases the messenger rna and then messenger rna move towards the ribosome and produces the replicase enzyme uh, which on one hand produces the replicative forms it means the uh, negative and on the other hand the positive and then uh, positive single strand it produces different structure proteins and the negative sense RNA produces many uh, copies of the single strand positive RNA which then uh, positive uh, standard uh, single strand RNA is encapsulated by the protein structure protein and then produces the complete particle which come out of the cell through exocytosis and then infect the other person is it clear now I hope so the concept is clear I have tried my best and kindly if you like my lecture uh, tell me and if you have any question kindly share with me Thank you very much. I will be back uh, with a new lecture which will be about the vaccine of the coronavirus, inshallah. Allah Hafiz.